previously arrested for committing domestic violence against your spouse? I'm going to object. Irrelevant, harassing, has nothing to do with this proceeding. It's argumentative. Go ahead and explain how you want to. There was no domestic violence within that relationship, and I, um, the state of Washington, where I was arrested, immediately dropped the charges because they knew the exact same thing that I just told you, that no domestic violence ever occurred. And my ex has stated such. In fact, it was so ridiculous, those charges. It was a verbal argument. It was misinterpreted, misrepresented, and completely um, over overreacted upon by two individuals in a power position. And as soon as they found out, as soon as they found out that we were um, partners, which we were not going to be arrested for before, as soon as they found out we were partners, the male cop not this other woman who's later been brought into the press, uh, this male cop uh, put me in handcuffs. And, uh, and that's, it, 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 there was no, no physical violence, no physical abuse, and zero, zero domestic violence whatsoever between us. It was a trumped up charge, and it was dropped immediately for being such. Isn't it a fact, Ms. Hurd, that in fact on September 24th, 2009, you were arrested for domestic violence uh, committed against Tasha Van Ray? Asked and answered. Is that what you just talked about? Did I miss something? Isn't it a fact, Ms. Hurd, that on September 14th, you were in fact taken to jail? It wasn't dropped immediately. Same objections, Vegas. Same objections. Isn't it a fact, Ms. Hurd, that you spent the night in jail from September, 20, September 14th to September 15th, 2009, as a result of your arrest for domestic violence? Same objections. It's irrelevant. Is that true? 352. She's already answered what happened. Is that Vague. true? It's argumentative. It's harassing. You just want to, you know, get your harassment in. Go uh, ahead. Let the record reflect Mr. I Carter's directing her not to answer. Did you I spend the night in jail? Yes. I, never, I never said don't answer. I never said that. The is about to... That's not my fault, because she keeps cutting me off every time I say something. There's no need to yell, Mr. Hart. Well, I have to be heard. Everyone's talking over me. You've got a whole wall of lawyers over there who are talking over me. May I continue? Can I say something? Ms. Hurd, Ms. Hurd, isn't it a fact that Tasha Van Ray, on September 14, 2009, claimed to the police that you would hit her arm? Same objection. No? I don't know anything about this. Answer how, give a full answer, please. I don't know anything about the claim that you just made about what Tasha said or did not say. I can't possibly know that. I know nothing about what you just said. Isn't it a fact that on September 14th, <clears throat> you hit Tasha Van Ray in her arm? No. Isn't it a fact on September 14th, you broke the necklace off of Tasha Ren Van Ray's uh, neck. 352 is irrelevant to these proceedings. Argumentative harassing. Isn't it a fact that Tasha Van Ray reported to the police that you would hit her arm? 352, irrelevant, vague, uh, argumentative and harassing. Isn't it a fact, Ms. Uh, it's heard still. That you know very well that your spouse, that your domestic partner, Tasha Van Ray, uh, requested that you uh, uh, be arrested for domestic violence. Call me. You need to please let me get my objections in, okay? okay? Please. Okay. There's